This is Al Jazeera America. I'm Stephanie Tsai in New York City. We are just moments away from an announcement from President Obama on restoring diplomatic ties with Cuba. We are following breaking news this morning. The Somali group Al-Shabaab claiming responsibility for an ongoing attack. The concern about emerging markets, how grounded is that in the reality that those markets are actually slowing down versus the perception investors have because of these very extreme actions that the Chinese government have taken? That's a very good point. Wait, you're telling me if I meditate and I'm self-aware, I can... You will influence your biological age significantly. Like, are we talking wrinkles? Tonight, we have brought you stories from Syria, from Europe, from the Mediterranean Sea. And now we bring you the stories of those making the journey to the United States. Is Hillary Clinton being bolstered by this fear of a Donald Trump presidency? That anger is not unfounded. Voters have that same sense of income inequality. Are we overemphasizing, as the media, the sort of racial issues that have come up because of the crazy things Donald Trump has said? Finally, this morning, some major news. It looks like Kermit the Frog may have already replaced Miss Piggy with a new girlfriend. People magazine obtained photos of the frog with a younger, sleeker Piggy model. We have breaking news this morning. The Supreme Court has said yes to same-sex marriages across all 50 states of this country. Do you think that there is still that ongoing disaster, that socioeconomic, that racial disparity? In New Orleans. In a way, yes. A landmark deal between the two biggest carbon polluters on the planet, America and China. But in reality, their pledge to cut emissions is just a whole lot of hot air, and we'll tell you why. Legal experts say victims may not remember exactly what happened, the details, so many decades later. As a victim yourself, Mark, what would your response to that argument be? That is just BS. I won't ask you about your dating life, uh, but obviously people do think of a lot of hypotheticals in which this could go wrong. And one of those hypotheticals is drinking, right? And, and I've been in college. Drinking is part of a lot of campus culture. Uh, you know, how, how does a school monitor that if everyone is packing heat? Good morning. This is Al Jazeera America live from New York City. I'm Stephanie Sai. A major Supreme Court decision. The court has ruled in favor of the Obama administration and upheld subsidies in the Affordable Care Act. Let's go straight to Lisa Stark, who is live at the Supreme Court. And there was one day where she slams your head repeatedly against a locker and you call her evil incarnate. <laughs> How quickly will we see policy translate into benefits for people? What you're saying is this case does not seem to invalidate those religious freedom claims. They were profiled because of their race. Do police ever round up en masse far-right extremists? I read that when you were nine years old, you got into a fight over a plum that had been stolen. Is that true? It is true. Is it true that your grandma gave you some sort of magic potion? What was it supposed to do, Madam President? Um, give you strong. That is our live coverage of these historic events in Cuba. I'm Stephanie Sai in New York. Thanks for watching. This is Al Jazeera America, live from New York City. I'm Stephanie Sai. Nepal has been hit with another major earthquake just two and a half weeks after one that killed 8,000 people. Today's earthquake measured 7.3 in magnitude. In less than eight hours, a five-day ceasefire is set to begin in Yemen, but military action has been intense leading up to the pause. It has been a violent 24 hours in Yemen. Does it appear this ceasefire will actually take hold? Following an Al Jazeera America report, St. Louis police are now investigating a string of decades-old cases involving newborns allegedly stolen from their mothers at birth. About 70 women all black have come forward. I know you're still waiting on these records to be released to you, but are you getting an early sense of whether this was a few rogue nurses or a more systemic black market adoption scheme at this hospital? On the money beat, a crucial vote is expected in the Senate today on legislation that would grant President Obama the authority to fast track trade deals through Congress. Patricia Sabka joining us. Uh, Patricia, good morning. Is it possible to close a trade deal without fast track? King Salman of Saudi Arabia is skipping this week's meeting of the Gulf Cooperation members at the White House. But the Obama administration insists it does not point to any sort of rift between the allies. And the GCC, when it comes to Iran, seems relatively unified, but they are not unified when it comes to other major issues. Egypt is a perfect example where Qatar, for example, supported the Muslim Brotherhood, and the Saudis and the UAE supported El Sisi. 
Will these differences among GCC nations belie the talks happening at Camp David? In this morning's environmental impact, we focus on the gray wolf. It's an endangered species, but there's an ongoing fight whether or not they should be officially on that list. Let's bring in Nicole Mitchell for more. Nicole, there is a, such a back and forth when it comes to the gray wolf. Why? A landmark deal between the two biggest carbon polluters on the planet, America and China. But in reality, their pledge to cut emissions is just a whole lot of hot air and we'll tell you why. Also, billions of dollars in fines for some of the biggest banks in the world after foreign currency traders get caught rigging the market. I'm asking what it's really going to take to put a stop to this kind of fraud. Plus, we'll look at a powerful force in today's housing market that can foreclose on a home even faster than the bank can if you're not careful. Now, most of us don't trade currencies to earn profits, but the speculators and banks that do trade currency have a major impact on what the rest of us pay for everything from hotels to food when we travel abroad. For example, a weaker euro means your stronger dollar buys more croissant in France. Currency exchange rates also can make the difference between a profit and a loss for companies selling their products in other countries. But despite its size and importance, the foreign exchange or forex market remains a mystery to many of us. So we asked Mary Snow to explain how it works. U.S. health officials today pressed Congress for $6 billion to fight Ebola. Administration officials say beefing up the U.S. response is a key part of President Obama's emergency aid request. Republican lawmakers are skeptical of the request, saying the administration hasn't taken enough security measures. Health and Human Services Secretary Sylvia Burwell told senators they need the money to continue training 250,000 nurses, doctors, and other health workers on how to handle any Ebola patients who arrive in this country. If you live in a condo, co-op, or any one of hundreds of thousands of planned communities, you are part of what's called a housing association or a community association. Nearly 70 million Americans are living under the watchful eyes of these groups. They're formed to handle community-wide chores, like making sure the hallways, the grounds, and common areas are clean. So most people don't pay much attention to them. But as Duarte Geraldino reports, a recent court ruling shows just how strong these associations can be and what their number one goal really is. Hello, I'm Stephanie Sai. On the 10th anniversary of America's worst natural disaster, Hurricane Katrina, Al Jazeera did a series of reports from New Orleans. That's when I met the fascinating John Keller, a veteran with PTSD who transformed into a kind of modern day MacGyver when he and hundreds of residents became stranded. As the floodwaters rose, he jumped into action, always aware of how race might be playing into the government's response to victims. He ended up saving a lot of lives, including, he says, his own. A Marine veteran, John Keller, had seen war's devastation. He thought those depravities were behind him. Then Katrina came. I saw 30 people living in a tree. In a tree, I was like... This was America. Yeah, man. Ten years ago. This is in three in days. Your, in your town. Yep. Keller felt abandoned by his own government. It's, it's just hard, man. Just doing all that and then coming back here and not getting food and water on the roof is like... A, you're a second-class citizen. It don't matter what you did for the country. We don't give a Say about on the top of rooftop, American can apartment. He was living at the American can, a sprawling complex which had become an island of stranded residents. Keller sprung into action. When there wasn't enough food and water, I swam to uh, the grocery store. I got beef jerky, batteries, uh, candles, and... Uh, Patron, Bombay Sapphire, Kettle One, and I tied all the ice just together, so I had like a centipede, and I tied the rope around my waist, and uh, I breaststroked all the way back towing those ice chests, and then when we got to the, the garage, we kept two ice chests and gave the rest of the people in the hallways. I said, I hope this is not the case, but man, get all the black people off the roof and put the white people on the roof. I don't care how old they are or whatnot, carry them up here in the wheelchair, I know it's hot. I said, if they look bad, it doesn't matter. Because if, if we don't, if this doesn't work, they're going to die in their apartments. So your tactic was to replace the African Americans that were on the roof and put elderly white people on the roof so that you could get the attention of these airdrops? Yeah. And it worked. It did, quickly. <laughs> I was like, wow. But it wasn't enough. The elderly were running out of medicine. Keller thought some wouldn't make it much longer. He saw speedboats on the roof of a nearby building. I said, man, I can go on top of that building and hotwire a truck and hotwire some boats and get us out of here. 
I touched the wire and I hit the tilt and the motor went yee. And then I hit another motor and it was on boom and it started up. And I said, we in business, let's get out of here. Keller started shuttling people to a sliver of land where they were airlifted. After he was evacuated, Keller lived briefly in San Antonio, where he met Melissa, the future mother of his son, Miles. You get all these things you accumulate over time and knowledge and skills. And one day, I guess uh, God might want you to put that to the test. And either you accept it or you don't. If I wouldn't have done that, I, would have, um, I wouldn't be being blessed right now. Blessings lately have been mixed for John. He still lives at the American Can in New Orleans, but after 14 years, he's worried he may be forced to move because of mold that's been found in his apartment. He is in ongoing negotiations about making a movie based on his story. He's still writing the ending. Antonio, over to you.